Hello world! Previously I released a video on using inductive probes to home a Sculpt Fun style laser printer. There's a whole bunch of these out on the market now and the concept I'm assuming is going to be pretty similar to all. This particular laser is a Sculpt Fun S10. Uh, it's very similar to the S9. Um, and I just wanted to show some functions and that this is going to be a kit that I will be selling on my website. So just to start off, let's go ahead and home it. Pay close attention to how quickly that this will home. Uh, with an inductive probe setup, it is, it, it's not responsive or it, it doesn't respond as quickly as the optical sensors that are in use with this particular configuration. Uh, this also has uh, four optical sensors in place on the X and Y on both ends and on the Y on both ends. I did that because it then allows for the user to home at any, uh, any of the four corners. And also if you make a mistake, uh, it won't slam into the rail and burn out your motors. So this is actually the safest setup that I've seen uh, on the internet right now for these particular models. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and move it back out. And that's moving at 6,000 millimeters a minute, which is about, a, I believe, 120 millimeters a second. And this particular setup will come with with lights. I, I saw one of the YouTubes out there where somebody added on lights. Well, you can get those lights just with the sensors themselves. So let's go ahead and do it again. This is moving at 8,000 millimeters a minute. All right, I'm going to do it again. So I just have it set. So even if any of these, that, when they hit, it'll it'll light up both of the sensors. So I don't know if you saw that. All right. So this kit will have two options. Uh, it will be plug-and-play where all of the cables will already be configured. Uh, there, um, the reason why I bring that up is so the length of the cable needs to be cut. You need to crimp uh, your connectors. And there's also some de-pinning that needs to be done down at the connector to the main board. Uh, the, uh, the power cable is actually in a different position and you have to de-pin that and move that over. If you buy the plug-and-play kit, that will already be done for you. Uh, the plug-and-play kit will also come with all of the 3D printed mounts, and it, it uses all of the uh, mounts holes that already exist on the Sculpt Fun S10. Uh, so each of these spots here are 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 already existing like you don't need to tap new holes you don't have to drill you don't have to do anything like that uh, you just basically use the supplied hardware because these these uh, these pieces of hardware are actually slightly longer than the standard uh, one that comes with by about four millimeters so here's here's a standard um, piece of hardware this button head and this is only about four millimeters. You need eight millimeters in order for it to actually go through this uh, this mount and then connect to the neural nut underneath, which is just standard on the Sculpt Fun. All right, so with that being said, we can hop on over to Lightburn for the configuration. And in Lightburn, we need to make a few changes. And 
with the device running, Lightburn does have their own videos to do this. I'll just go over a few. So this is under device settings. So edit device. Here, I'll do that real quick again. Edit device settings. And this is your home. So origin. Front left, front I mean uh, back right, front right, left back. Uh, if you select any of those with this setup, it doesn't matter. Uh, where, where you actually put it, then the machine will know where it is after that point. You can change your working size. Uh, this is just kind of helpful for, for you. Uh, it'll change. Like, this is 390 because we lose a little bit. Um, this just changes this area. I mean, you don't really need to change that. Because the machine will know if it can go to that that particular location, and if you go past like the the working area, um, if you go past the working area, the limit switches will just say no, can't do that, and you just got to reposition. Uh, the main area is your machine settings. Uh, this is the most important section. You have to turn on hard limits. You have to turn on your homing cycle. And from here, if you want the front left, like minus setup, X step pin needs to be inverted. And the X homing direction needs to also be inverted. So set those to true. And moving on to Y, the only thing that you need on for Y is going to be uh, the homing direction to be inverted. Now, again, if you make a mistake, if you have this system, it will protect it from crashing or grinding the motors and uh, basically ruining your brand new machine. Uh, let's see here. One other step. We want the speed. How fast are we going to home? That's right here. I have it set to 8,000 millimeters a minute. Uh, the mechanical limit switches and the induction probe just don't respond as quickly uh, as the optical sensors. So uh, when you're putting this together, start small. Start at 3,000 and then work your way up. And uh, with that, I'll have some links to my website in the, in the, uh, in the description. Yeah, hope uh, like and subscribe. And have a good day.